I've been told I'm not as Trekky. I'm not a real Star Trek fan because I keep complaining about the Star Trek musical Subspace Rhapsody. Welcome to Star Trek Sci-Fi TV and Movie Channel. This will be a short, ranty video because I have been quite aggressively accused <laughs> in a couple of comments um, of being not a real Trekkie, not a real Star Trek fan, damn it, because I don't like the Subspace Rhapsody Star Trek musical they did in season two of Strange New Worlds, episode nine. <sighs> I'm going to explain again why I didn't like it. For one, I don't like musicals, right? If a musical is going to be good, and I'm going to enjoy it, then the songs have got to be good. They've got to be catchy. Other than Nurse Chapel's song about halfway through, I didn't think any of the songs were any good. I thought they were um, them saying what they would have said anyway, but to music, and not always that well. Um, Nurse Chapel's song, though, I, I do agree. It's actually just a bloody good song. I actually really, really like that. So, I didn't like much of the music. It was just it was just okay. It was there, it was in the background, but it didn't sort of have me singing along or anything like that. So I didn't like it from that point of view. And if a musical, it needs to get me tapping my toes. All right? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's a musical. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's a musical. The songs are great. So, yeah, there's that. For two, and this is a biggie, you only get 10 episodes of Strange New Worlds. Two of them were very quirky episodes, right? You've got the crossover episode, which was brilliant with Lower Decks, but a very quirky episode. And then you've got the musical. How, whether you like the musical or not, you have to admit it's a quirky episode. That is 20% of the Star Trek. I want sci-fi. I want Star Trek. I don't mind the odd quirky episode, but 20% of the series in this case were quirky episodes. For me, that's just too much. One. One episode would have been fine. One or the other. That is my main argument with Strange New Worlds. So, before I let it go, though, I do have one major problem with the musical. It didn't make any bloody sense, and it's not science fiction. That's my biggest problem. They did a very loose sort of explanation of why they were all singing musicals. And um, there was a subspace, whatever, fold, and a reality from another universe was bleeding in, and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't make any sense, though. All right, it's a very loose scientific mm, dodgy. At the end of the day though, that reality would have had to have affected us in a way things like, it would have had to make us all psychic because everybody knew the lyrics. Everybody knew the dance moves. They're all jumping around to the same dance moves. So they must have been telepathically linked. So there's, that's one, that, that wasn't mentioned. And, and for two, it's bollocks. It doesn't make any sense. It's not scientific, remotely accurate. And look, science fiction should be fiction. It should be imaginative. It should, you know, be fictional. But science is in there too. And the word science is in there. And if you're going to have something as extreme as that, uh, you better have a better reason for it. If they'd have had some sort of psychic alien that was affecting the crew, that would have made a little bit more sense. Or at least I could have followed the logic. There was no logic to Strange New World Season 2, Episode 9. So it's Press Rhapsody. It made no bloody sense at all. So... Those are my reasons for not liking Subspace Rhapsody. It is not because I'm not a Trekkie. I love Star Trek. I just want Star Trek to be Star Trek, not necessarily a musical. I don't mind the quirky episodes. I actually love them, but I want more Star Trek. And when you're only giving us 10 episodes of something, that real estate is valuable. I want it to be science fiction or science Star Trek. One episode that defies explanation, gets a bit quirky and is comedy and, you know, gets a bit silly or whatever, that is fine, but not two. 
and the Klingons dancing bit, it wasn't funny. It was just stupid. I'm sorry, but it just was. And this is the last time I will ever mention Subspace Rhapsody in a video. Probably, probably not, if I'm honest. Guys, get into the comments as well, though, and tell me what you think about Subspace Rhapsody. Are you a lover? Are you a hater? Or actually, do you agree with me that if this episode had been a special instead of the ninth episode, which really should have been building up to the finale, if it had been like a Christmas special or something, would it have been okay? But just not two episodes in one series. Do you agree with me? Get to the comments and tell me. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It helps us out. You'll never miss any of our videos. Also, you can go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack, where most of our videos premiere first. Bye.